Hi, I'm Kevin Kane, and welcome to this edition of From the Top. You know, now that we're a few months removed from 2017, the data of last year's travel stats has become very clear to us. It is both very positive and very compelling for our destination. Together, we welcomed 11.7 million people to Memphis in 2017. That's a 4.1% increase over 2016, and it comes to nearly a half a more million visitors for the year. With this increase, our five-year average for visitation is now up to over 11 million visitors annually. You may ask, what is creating this increase? And it is a combination of two things. First of all, a great destination, but also with the funds made available to create more awareness for the Memphis destination. We have more than doubled our growth rate since receiving TID funding, going from a 1.8% growth in 2016 to the 4.1% overall growth in 2017. This is proof positive that this funding continues to be vital to the growth of our industry that is a critical part of the Memphis economy. With the CVB as a founding partner, you will soon see I Love Memphis Bikes as part of the Memphis Bike Share program. This innovative program changes everything about urban transportation, kicking off with 600 bikes at stations across the city. The process will be simple for locals and visitors who may want to bike the Big River Crossing. You just go to a station, pick up a bike and go. You can pay per the ride, per day, per month, or even per year. This week will culminate a year long of activities leading up to the 50th anniversary of the death of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in our city. This commemoration of his life and the impact that he had not only on Memphis, but the entire world puts Memphis clearly in the world spotlight. Thousands will visit our city this week to attend a variety of events all across our city with the National Civil Rights Museum being the center of activity. We hope that you will join us in welcoming visitors and please make plans to visit the special exhibit at the Civil Rights Museum that will open April 4th and will run throughout the rest of the year. I want to give a special thanks to Terry Freeman and the board of the National Civil Rights Museum and Mayor Jim Strickland and the city of Memphis for their leadership on this very historic occasion for our community. We are now working on the third installment of Mem Talks. We look forward to seeing all of you there in June. You'll be receiving information on it very soon. For this edition of From the Top, I'm Kevin Kane, and remember, keep believing in Memphis. We have a great city.